it can be so wet that the water droplets totally clog the air gaps and the wind is not coming out. And your icon is going to sound like... So these are very extreme cases. Your, the fan coil needs to be perfectly clean. So once you have got some of those jelly, bacterial, biofilm, all those sticky stuff, this fan coil is going to get clogged. Air is not coming out. Your air coin is not going to be efficient. And it goes into a spiral decline. So the more you can't remove, the, you, you can't discharge the cold air, the colder the fan coil becomes. And then it, it gathers more moisture and more moisture clogs the fan coil. It's a vicious cycle. So in the past when the fan coil is arranged straight with a fan motor like this, and the fins with very big air gaps. After you turn off your aircon, the condensate water slowly glide down, drains out from the, the pipe, and it, then it stays dry. Not much problem. So now the fin, which is smaller, tighter, after you turn off your aircon, the water is all trapped in the fan coil. Will it drip down? No, because to make matter worse, they have wrapped the fan coil like an A-shape like this. So, if it's 90 degrees, of course, gravity has got a better chance of winning. You tear it, less chance, okay? So now the whole fan coil is like super duper wet. <clears throat> and then, it wraps around your blower. And it's constantly discharging cold air. And then it's constantly causing this thing to be wet. And I, 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 have, a, I have a few videos, you know, which I filmed. And uh, the blower is wet. The fan coil is freaking wet. So, Daikin has got a smart solution. A long time ago, I think since the MA56. Did, did you see this button here? It says... Uh, mold proof you see that okay so what it does is that if you activate this function okay i'm going to show you so if you activate this function and i turn off my aircon so do you notice that the uh, the louver flap will not close completely and not only that now uh, I don't think the camera can see because it's a bit dark. The uh, the fan motor is still running. And it will run for the next two hours. So, and, and this is very important because um, uh, there's this engineering concept behind it is that, as we have mentioned, right, the liquid gas that comes into the fan coil, when the fan is blowing, it will evaporate the liquid gas and turn it back into a liquid form. Uh, sorry, gas form. When you turn off your aircon, the compressor comes to a stop. But your fan coil has still got a package of liquid gas in the fan coil. And the fan don't turn already. And to make matter worse, all the aircon design, for one reason or another, after you turn off the aircon, the flap closed. It must be some clever marketing guy that do not understand the uh, very concept of aircon and uh, things that the aircon's worst enemy is dust. So after you turn off your aircon, you should close up everything, prevent dust from coming in. The aircon is mounted up in the wall, dust settled down on the floor, and <clears throat> Dust is not going to climb its way up the vein into the blower. I mean, what are you talking about? So, so it's, it's weird, but, but consumer likes that. Consumer likes the idea. So that after you turn off the aircon, the flap should close. So this liquid gas that is, uh, that is still in the fan coil, now the fan don't turn. So, but the gas is still evaporating 
But in a trapped environment, the gas is going to evaporate very quick, very slowly. So one thing you can test for yourself, when your aircon is turning, excuse me, when your aircon is running and producing cold air, what you're going to do is that you switch it to a fan mode, so compressor comes to a stop. So the fan is still running. So the purpose of this test is to test for yourself how long it takes for the liquid gas that is in your fan coil to vaporize. You time for yourself. You take anywhere between 30 seconds to 1 minute. Also depending on the heat exchange property of your fan coil, the fan speed you're running it. So without a supply of new refrigerant, the amount of liquid gas can sustain for roughly a minute or so. But if you don't turn the fan anymore, and then you close the flap, it's going to take hours for the gas to slowly, slowly vaporize. And for it to slowly, and not forgetting your fan coil is already freaking cold and wet. Huh? And you wrap your blower around the, uh, you wrap your fan coil around the blower. So all the cold air is going to transmit onto the uh, fan blower, the back of the aircon, and then the flap is all closed up. Yeah, yeah, you're just asking for trouble, right? So, so, so the modern aircon, after you turn it off, right, the blower is wet. Internal comp components is wet. Everything is wet. But th does it matter? Wet, so be it. But, that is the problem. Is that when consumers don't understand that the uh, uh, aircon's worst enemy is not dust, but organic compounds, they fail to cross-ventilate the properties well, and they start using products that sabotage the aircon. For example, perfume, burning of scented oil, and uh, all these are organic stuff. So why, why, why is it a problem? Even, actually even by you as a living human being sleeping in the room, every of your exhale contains more than 3,000 different kinds of organic compounds. And these are all nanoparticles, very, 